for time. So uh, get right into it here quickly. Um, so first of all, congratulations, an Olympic gold medal for France. Um, incredible journey you guys uh, took to get here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, first thing, though, the game against Russia, what were the emotions going through when you guys got match point and won the gold medal? Well, uh, I don't know. I didn't have emotions. I think I tried to don't pass so much. I was a bit nervous, but yeah, I, I tried to stay focused and I was just scared that they took the challenge for net touch or something. Yeah. And I didn't think about it. I was sure the ball was out. Uh, they told me they didn't touch the ball in the, in the block. Then I, I didn't think about the net touch. So when I saw it, I was, oh, okay. Then it was done. And... Nice. So you guys start off 2-0. Russia takes the next two sets, then up three nothing in the tiebreak. Uh, was there any a bit of sense of nervousness or um, fear at that point in the match? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nervousness, yes. Fear, I don't think so. Not fear, but it was. Of course, it was. It was. We were nervous because when you're winning two zero, you've got opportunities to finish the game in the third set, and then you start the the fifth set three three zero for them. Uh, of course, you get nervous because uh, I don't say it was supposed to be uh, an easy game. We knew it was going to be tough, but to start like this, uh, it's hard. But then we didn't stop. We kept fighting and we just kept on going. And in the end, it just worked out. And, and Bartholomew, for you, the Dream Team nomination, how, how did that feel, getting that uh, award? <laughs> uh, I, just, I, I didn't know about it just... I think only two hours after the game, and it's just, I don't know, to me, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. I couldn't believe it. It's just, a, it's a team game. So for me, it's, I need to thank everyone. And uh, I think we all won this one because uh, as a middle, you have, you have to be helped from the setter. You have to block, and it's thanks to the other guys too. And when I'm blocking and the guys behind just are there on defense, it's uh, thanks to them. So it's just, uh, yeah, for me, it's unbelievable. And uh, I w just want to thank uh, every, every team player. And well-deserved. So just even getting to the Olympics for you guys, let alone winning the gold, was not the easiest path. Uh, starting all the way back in 2019 uh, with the Olympic qualifying tournament uh, in Poland, uh, losing to Poland, 3-0, uh, unfortunately, uh, not getting through that way. What were, what were your feelings about that tournament? Um, yeah, it was tough. It was super tough. We were not even close to winning against Poland there. They just destroyed us. And it was a, yeah, it was something big. And we tried to think what was wrong on the team, what was wrong on the, on the, on the practices. Um, and it was kind of, I don't know, helpful also for the team, this kind of, of losses. Then we had a good uh, European Championships, and yeah, we, we came back stronger on the on the second uh, qualifier. So that's all. Well, yeah, you guys had the Tokyo, the uh, European Olympic qualifier, which as maybe not everyone knows this, but Europe is is by far the most difficult uh, region to qualify from. You had to beat a ton of tough teams uh, in that tournament, including a five setter against Slovenia in the semifinals and then beating Germany in the finals. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that tournament as well? Yeah, that, yes, yeah. that was really difficult when we think about it. And we used to say that like also these last two weeks from where we, we come from, it was really long travel, really long trip. And, and uh, also it looked like this uh, Olympics, we didn't take the, the easiest way, but just we came here and we played our like cards fully and so it was crazy. These games we were losing 2-0 against uh, Slovenia, as you said, and, and we came back. We don't even know how, but we just came <laughs> yeah. and we started to play. And, and uh, it was a difficult tournament with uh, key players missing, and and uh, it, it uh, gave me opportunity to players like I, I played uh, a lot of sounds and started to play a lot of tournament. And uh, especially Jean Patry, uh, who shined, uh, like, he, played, he was MVP of the tournament uh, at this moment, and now he's 
really, really important in the team. So that was, uh, that was great. Awesome. And so would you guys say in hindsight, this kind of longer journey to qualify for the Olympics was part of the reason why you guys were able to win the whole thing? Yeah, I think it, uh, it's part of, uh, of winning. Uh, like uh, Antoine said, the, the first uh, Olympic qualifier we lost, we didn't even have a chance against Poland. Then it was really tough to qualify uh, in the second, uh, the second round. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, for me, it's just part of it. It's what makes us stronger today. And we know even if we're losing 2-0 or even if we're losing, we just have to try and take our chances and not stop until until the last point. And that's what we did every game after, I think after Argentina, we lost in, uh, in the group stage. We just try to have fun on the court, give everything and just see what happened and uh, just worked out every every single game, game uh, after this. Yeah, well, because your reward for qualifying through Europe was to be in the group of death with Russia, uh, Brazil, Argentina, USA, Tunisia, not easy. And then a tough loss to the US on your first game. Was there anything you guys changed in your game plan against those games against US and Argentina? I think we didn't have a chance against the US, it was really, they played, they played amazing. Yeah, they had just had an amazing, they crazy played, game. Yeah, they played the best game of the tournament for them, for sure, against us. So if they play like this, I think every game, they, this, they would be with, yeah, they, with, with this. They would have, <laughs> for sure, because they had just a crazy level on, on this game. Then after this, it was like, okay, we have to beat Tunisia. We, we did it. And uh, after it's just history, I want to say. Yeah, yeah. We were, I think everyone was was just surprised by the level of Argentina. We knew that it was a good team with good, really good players, but they just played a crazy tournament and they they came back from so far or so when we, we won against Russia. We were, okay, now it's going to be really tough for them to play um, this game against USA to go to quarterfinals. And they did it 3-0 and then like, they were so su surprising, and at the end, yeah, yeah, bronze medal. So. Was there ever a point in the tournament where you were like, okay, this is actually happening? We're like in the playoffs, okay, we're in the quarterfinals, oh, we're in the semifinals. There's actually a chance that you know we could bring France the the first Olympic vo uh, volleyball medal. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> um, after after uh, when we won uh, against Russia, then we 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 played a, a great game like the level we didn't play before, and it was like the start of everything I think. And also when we saw Tunisia winning two sets uh, against Argentina, Argentina then uh, it was uh, then it was uh, like mixing the points in the in the group, and that was the beginning of. Uh, of uh, everything, then we just say, okay, guys, now we have to play our chance, and we we just start to, to play the tournament. And, we were, and it, it, it was kind of a joke for us to say <laughs> before every game, we were like, okay, guys, this game we lose three zero for sure. Like we will, we will just go out of this tournament and go back home, and that's it. No chance that we win this game. And we, we said that before. <laughs> It was kind of a joke. We knew it, but we will try to do our best and to win every game. But I don't know. It was to try to be on the skin of the not favorite one. So that's it. Yeah. All right. And last question for you guys here before I let you go. How close is this team? Because that's the impression I get, and I think a lot of other people get, is that the team is uh, really close. There's good camaraderie. You guys get along well. And obviously, you spent all of VNL together, basically in the same hotel uh, together, and now training for the Olympics and now the Olympics. And over the past few years as well, it's been a lot of the same players. Um, so what can you say about the, the camaraderie of Team France? Um, I think it's just amazing. People, I think, don't realize how close we are to, to each other, how we appreciate each other. Uh, some of the guys have been playing together for more than 10 years. So it's, I want to say it's nearly more than friendship. It's sometimes they've been playing with each other every summer. They've seen each other more than 
they've seen their families. So yeah, it's like kind of a little family and we're just really close. We enjoy each other. We just uh, love to be with each other. We can be, like you said, uh, at the VNL one month in a hotel all together. And even uh, the last week or the last day, we were, we were just happy to be here and all together because uh, just have a, a great uh, friendship. And then, and then you brought three jerseys as well uh, to show in the, um, when you guys won the medal as well. Can you guys talk about uh, Thibaut Rossard, Kevin LaRue, and uh, Julian Lineal, three players who've been through the journey, um, but we're not, unfortunately not able to make it. Did you guys plan that ahead of time? Yeah, I think we, they were, they, 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 they're part of the, of the big family of, of the team. They've been there for so, so long. And uh, because of some uh, injuries, they couldn't, they couldn't get into, into the team. And we just thought about, we have our thoughts with them. Uh, and when we knew we were going to have a medal after the semifinal, we just thought, okay, there is thanks to us. But, um, Thanks to them, we're here. They helped us. <coughs> Sorry. No, no and, worries. Uh, <laughs> just a tough night. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> like they, they're part of the of the trip we made uh, since a few years ago. So they're all part of this. We're here thanks to them. And uh, this medal is also theirs. So uh, we just wanna, we wanted to thank them and uh, just uh, give our thoughts to them. And they were deserving the person to be here also. Yeah. So that's why we had to show them and to show them also that they, they belong to the team and, and we needed them before and still now. So. Well, it's so tough to the roster cuts to 12 from 14. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to uh, talk to us today. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys provided some of the best volleyball I've watched ever during this tournament. So thank you for that. And uh, enjoy the celebrations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. All right.